Uh, with regards to maintenance, maintenance and sustainability of this project, um, we, have, we are training local electricians who will serve uh, as the first point of call when there is the need here. There's also a technology that is in place that will be communicating with the installers back in Terma. So if there is any need for a little maintenance that can be done here, they'll contact the volunteers who will come here and sort it out. Uh, if that is not enough, then they would have to come down. And so, so we have made plans, we've put a lot of plans in place. So this project for, for the next five years, we've got five years warranty on uh, some of the products, 10 years warranty on the solar panels. So for the next five years, we know that this place is going to be totally lit and there will be no issues. Rotary, in Rotary, one thing we consider when doing projects is sustainability. We want our, uh, whatever project we do to be sustained for as long as possible. So we've put measures in place to ensure that the installer does the right thing and then there are people around to help. The community has been very, very helpful. <coughs> Sorry. The community has been very, very helpful. Uh, you would see pictures of school girls bringing in uh, poles. Uh, everyone is volunteering. The assemblyman has been here. And, uh, you know, members of the community have come around erecting poles here and there and doing stuff. So they are very, very cooperating. To say, I would like to say a very big thank you to my club, to my club president, Rotarian Jonas, to uh, the Rotary Club of Rochester, USA, and to former Rotarian uh, Rhonda Panzik for her advocacy and fundraising activities. She's been very, very uh, uh, helpful in making this come to pass. And then again, I want to thank all Rotarians who have supported us in one way or the other. 